Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I'm the Cyber Guru. Thank you for watching. It's been a while since I posted a video. I uh, got a cold, which is probably more like the flu, and then a secondary respiratory infection, and I'm still suffering from that a little bit. But, uh, you know, getting healthy, and it's going to be all good. So just wanted to uh, walk everyone through a project, or actually two different projects that I've been working on in the meantime. Uh, so as everyone knows, I got the uh, x car back here, and I finally got the dust collection which I'm going to be doing a video on here real soon. Just kind of the, some of the things I like about it and what I don't like about it. Um, but in the process of the X-Carve, I got the clamping system as well as I've always had the bits and the, the collets and whatnot for the previous Shape Oko. And so I've always had trouble keeping track of all these things and, and finding a place for them and, and keeping them organized. So in the back of my mind, I've always said, hey, I'm going to build some sort of organizing thing for it and so that's what I've done over the last couple weeks uh, I set out to do it in wood it turns out that um, I just did it I, I 3d printed it instead it, it actually took longer uh, because I could have routed it out in probably less than an hour and but uh, the one at least one of the prints took six hours the other one took about two and a half three hours but the reason I did it in 3D printing is so that I could turn on it pretty uh, quickly in terms of if I needed to make any changes and I wasn't locked into uh, wasting a lot of wood, which is, uh, you know, per square inch or square millimeter, significantly more expensive than, than the filament. So let me switch over to Fusion 360 and walk you through the two projects and I'll show you the final products. All right, so here we are in Fusion. You can see the design right here in front of you. Uh, what I've done is basically just created a box with insets for the risers, the clamping system, and then the hold downs for the clamping, and I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Let me turn these off and just show it to you. There's no magic here, really. It is literally just a base uh, square with indentations cut out for the different parts that I'm holding. Now, one thing that I am going to change here in the future is these particular that hold the risers don't really go down far enough and they have a tendency to flop around a little bit and fall out so I will change that in the next iteration of the design I've only made this once so I feel pretty good about nailing it on the first first go around now these arms let me turn this off I'll turn the arms on and show you too these are the arms for the uh, the, the hold downs for the clamping system which you might have seen in the previous video about the x-carve I'll link that you know one of these sides, who knows what. Uh, I did end up creating models for the arms, the clamps, and the bolts. Uh, just for me, I like to, to, for my models to be complete. So I will post all these to uh, uh, GrabCAD and or Thingiverse if you want to take a look at them. And if you want to maybe, I haven't tried it, but I, I suppose you can 3D print more of them. But you can see here the arms are just replicas uh, the three four different sizes provided by inventable 71 millimeter 66 36 and 56 millimeter so I'll, I'll post the the fusion files if you want to tweak them you can print some more or whatever um, I don't think there's any issue there because I created it from scratch <laughs> uh, I have not in all interest of disclosure I have not made these so I don't know that they're going to work if you do choose to print them maybe I'll print them and just kick the tire see what happens but there they are. Uh, the next thing are the, is the clamp base. Uh, these are, again, I modeled these. Uh, these are made out of aluminum from Inventables. There are the three, two different sizes and then what are those, the extensions or the risers here. Again, I guess you can 3D print them if you wanted. Um, <clears throat> I, again, haven't done so, but uh, the design's pretty straightforward, a little stair step. The only nuance here is, let me sh just uh, slide in and show you. You can see here that these are not perfectly flat. They do slope downwards a little bit. And I guesstimated the measurements using the um, using the digital caliper. So again, they, they might not be spot on to what the actual Inventables uh, design and or manufacturing process is, but uh, it is what it is. And they are powder coated, I, I do know that. So I think the tolerance there are a little bit off. And then the last thing here are the bolts. Um, these are the hold downs. You can see again. I modeled all of these. I got the the the, the actual bolts from uh, McCaster. Is that right? Let's see. Uh, yeah. uh, Mc McMaster car. So I just went there, uh, used this little capability from Fusion, and inserted a component from there. And then I modeled the heads, um, and then changed the colors based on the the height to match what Inventables has done. So again. Um, 
feel free to print them if you want. Uh, these, I would say, is I did not uh, increase the tolerance of the holes. So if you do print this, I would recommend you upsizing this, uh, the model just a little bit to get the bolts in or uh, tap them, drill them um, to hold the bolts so the bolts can actually fit in. I think if you print them, they're probably the holes are probably going to be too small. But uh, again, I'll post these on GrabCAD just uh, for reference. So that is... Uh, part number one. <clears throat> Switching over here, this is part number two. This is something of the one that I've had in the back of my mind for quite some time now. It's just uh, a holder for all my miscellaneous components parts for the for the shape oko slash x carve. And what you have here is an area for your bits, an area for a quarter inch uh, shank, and then the area for the eight in, eighth inch shank. And I uh, predominantly just use thirty second, sixteenth, and eighth inch and quarter inch cutters. Uh, and then I have my, uh, room for my V cutters here. You can see the, the 45, 60, and 90. Um, I have a half inch, uh, 90 and 60 uh, degree V cutters, and then a quarter inch, 45. So, and then have some extra space uh, for other ones if I get them. Over here, I have space for my two collets for the DeWalt router, the quarter inch collet and the eighth inch collet. Now, generally speaking, one of them's always gonna be in the machine. Uh, so. It, Maybe I only needed a hole for one, but I figured if for some reason I needed the, the, both of them out for some reason it's there. Just a little storage area. I had some extra space here, which I'll talk about that probably in a few seconds. But what I'm going to do there. And then a holders for the Allen wrenches for the tightening. And then this is actually a place for the wrench for the DeWalt where you stick the wrench down into the hole. <clears throat> and it holds it. Uh, and it just says here, call it wrench. I put these letters on here and I, I you know, embossed them as, as you will, and they, they printed fairly well. Um, I was, the intention here was to print in two colors, um, but I found that I had to make this taller than all the rest of it because the wrench kept falling out. So um, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll print it again. I don't know, but I'll switch over back over to the, the other camera and show you the actual finished products. All right, so that was the Fusion 360 kind of walk through of the model, and then I'm going to show you here uh, live fire what the actual model looks like. Let me. Uh, this is probably going to be hard to pull off because of the way that it looks, but um, so here is. Let me see if I can. <laughs> this is going to be really hard. All right, so. <laughs> How did I know that that was going to happen? <laughs> All right, so. There is the model. Let's see if I can get that to focus in. So uh, all of my screws, the riser or the um, clamp downs, and then the risers and the extensions here. So um, <laughs> let me put it back down. So I mentioned earlier that uh, these things have a tend to flop around because <laughs> um, the hole's not deep enough. And well. You now know that. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to reprint this. Um, to uh, I'm going to find that they're everywhere now. Um, <laughs> that was a little whoopsie moment. I'm sure I'll just leave it in the video. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so that's number one. Um, put these back because I'm a little OCD, which is why I created the thing. But anyway. And then the other one here is this guy, <clears throat> which is a little bit more stable. I will tell you, uh, the first time I printed this, these uh, holes were not nearly tight enough, so everything just fell out. So what I got going on here, let me see if I can zoom in here a little, give you a little focus. You can see I printed it in red. Uh, the long and short of it is in terms of the color of the filament. Let me, there you go, now you can see it. Um, uh, I printed what was on the printer. I happen to have red because I was doing some Valentine's printing and then the other printer had blue because uh, a significant other wanted a, a vase made out of blue. So it's just, I just printed what was there. So, um, and I should, it's the, the knife, it's not supposed to be in the hole, that's for the collet, but um, like I said, the collets are always, at least one of them is usually always on the machine. So um, I do intend, I mentioned earlier in Fusion, so this area here that I just listed for storage, uh, the intention was originally to have another set of bits over here uh, so that I just have more bit storage, but it, the symmetry really wasn't working out too well for me. Um, so what I do intention of doing is making the entire thing larger um, and adding some extra storage for the, for the knife. Um, 
I'll probably add storage for my tweezers here. Uh, and some other things. Sorry for the ahs, but... <clears throat> So uh, that's kind of the the what I got going on for that right there. It, it I think it worked out pretty well. Um, some changes, some tweaks. I probably need to make to it, obviously, because the <laughs> the parts just fall out everywhere every time I pick it up. And uh, I'll be honest with you, this one uh, is a little big and kind of uh, onerous to move around. Um, it's not too terrible, but because these things are loose and they, they kind of have a tendency to fall out. Um, it's, uh, it just needs some work. But other than that, uh, this thing took, uh, the, the CNC one took uh, six some hours, almost seven hours. And then the, the one for the bits only took like two and a half hours uh, to print. But anyway, so there you go. That's the video. I hope you like it. Um, if you like the video, Please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like it, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will publish and make the, the files available on Thingiverse and GrabCAD. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, subscribers are significantly more important now than they were in the past. Um, so if you like, uh, have any suggestions on future videos, please let me know. And I hope to see everyone soon. Thanks.